Welcome. Thank you. Um, I'm so happy to be back here in Dallas. Uh, I'm from New York. And um, what I do, uh, other than having a lot of fun with ta gadgets and technology, is I solve business problems with technology. And to do that, I'm constantly on the lookout for what is new and try to understand and predict where it's all going. So I'll give you an example. Eighteen years ago, I was at the Consumer Electronics Show, and I'll just bring this a little bit closer over to here so I can have it toward me here. Eighteen years ago, I was at the Consumer Electronics Show, and at the time, I owned a video production company. And I had millions of dollars worth of equipment. And I walked around and I saw in a booth this little device. Uh, I actually bought this. And all of a sudden I said, my word, this is a digital video camera. Now understand, I had video cameras that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. And all of a sudden this thing came along, cost $800. I looked at it and I said, hmm, I think it's time to sell my business. So I sold my business. <laughs> because if I could buy it for, I was spending hundreds of thousands for $800, I didn't need the, the $800,000, the $100,000 devices anymore. This past year at the Consumer Electronics Show, guess what? Same company, JVC, and uh, I found this little device in a corner of a booth. And this device has a little minor thing on it. It says 4K. This is the next generation of high definition video. Two years ago, I built a telepresence system using technology like this. The cameras cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. This one cost 5,000. Hmm, something's changing. So I look at electronics and I try to understand how it's going to change the world. Now sometimes I just find fun things, like this little device here. I found this very useful uh, in the um, uh, blackout in New York. It's a camping stove. You put wood in here. It's got a little uh, nice vents here, sucks the air in, creates a turbine, and uh, generates a very hot flame. But what's really interesting is a little device here which captures the heat, turns into electricity, which runs the fan, and then from there, there's a USB port, and I can now charge my cell phone. So <laughs> this, is, this is an interesting device. But what I've been doing is looking at the trends. I have come up with the, uh, what I call my digital dozen. There, there are 12 trends that I think are going to be affecting, and I don't have time to do all 12, so I'm going to go very quickly. One of them is imagery. We're talking about all kinds of energy, and now people are wearing devices like this when they go out. This is a uh, new camera from um, a company called GoPro. They've taken the world by, world by storm. These things are used by broadcasters. This does HD. In fact, it even does 4K, similar as that, and this is only a couple hundred dollars, you can wear it, and this is what you're seeing all those wonderful point of view camera shots for. Now, this little device here is another ad addition to the, um, uh, to uh, your, uh, uh, if you look here you can see, this is a little addition to an iPhone, and I can actually go through here and look around and see all the images around me because it's a 360 picture. It's a, uh, I'll show you later and be in the hallway. So it adds on something here. This little camera is a drop cam, little tiny camera, USB. This goes in your home. It automatically takes images, sends them over on the web, and it has seven or, four, uh, seven or 30 days worth of storage. So I can go in now, take a look at my house, or look at myself getting ready to come here seven, three days ago. Um, but if you really want to have more fun, these sunglasses, for example, this is, it's kind of nice shades, right? <laughs> this is a full 1080 camera. It's still camera and video with audio. And if you're walking around, you can shoot with this. And it's a very, very high quality camera from Pivot Head. And um, it's uh, uh, where imaging is going. And if you want to take it one step further, you heard this is being live streamed. Well, that, if you look in the back, you'll see there's a whole rack of equipment. Sorry, guys, in the back. But this little device with the exact same thing from the same company, mind you. This is a live stream encoder. So instead of all that equipment you have in the back room, you can put this in your pocket. And oh, yes, it's battery operated. So I could be live streaming what I have. The second thing that's going on and is, is what I call the um, Internet of Things. Things are being now, uh, they're sensors. We're adding technology to all kinds of devices and making them connected. 
This is a little um, air, air monitor. It actually monitors temperature and humidity, but also CO2. Lots of these little things around. Now, instead of having to worry about what the weather is at the airport, you can have it at your home or your outside little sensor like this. This device here measures water level. So if you put it in the basement, it'll tell you what's happening. The little antenna, guess what? It's connected to the internet. Uh, this is a digital lock. Same thing. It's wirelessly connected. Uh, this is a, a, light, a light switch. Plug this in. I can turn the lights on remotely. Uh, this takes me. Uh, puts into my shoe, and it connects my shoe uh, to the internet, and so it tells me what I'm doing. Uh, I'm wearing, actually, right here, a, a band from Nike. It's called the Nike Fuel. It tells me my activity. Actually, doing the time right now. But this is another activity that tells me how much active, how active a 920. Oh, I better get moving. I got to get over 2,000 before the end of the day. <laughs> but um, here's another one. If you're any of your golfers, here is a golf club. You wear the golf club. There are sensors in the fingers. It automatically figures out how much pressure you're putting on the club, and it actually prints it out here on a little device, and that also connects up to the Internet. So we're doing the Internet of Things. We're talking about all kinds of things being connected. Like, for example, this is a pen. It's not any old pen. This pen is actually a Wi-Fi connected pen. When I write in this book, it records everything I write, puts it up on the Internet, and oh, by the way, records the audio and the video associated with this. I'm sorry, the audio and the writing, whatever I do. There's actually a little camera in here, and it puts it all up on the web. Great for taking notes. And by the way, if you ever, anybody argues that you didn't say something, it'll actually come out here in full stereo. Now, the third area, and I, by the way, I have a dozen of these, so I'm only doing th three of them. The third area is human-machine interface. One of the biggest problems we have in technology is it's hard to use. We've made it very, very complicated. Black & Decker has come up with this device. It's a very simple device. It looks like it's a screwdriver. But as I turn, it turns the screwdriver one way or screws the other way. The more I turn it, the more it goes. So I don't have to worry about pushing buttons, selecting things. It's natural. It automatically interfaces and uses the sensors how to figure it out. Um, another one is this. Um, this is a little speaker, and this is a cell phone. Now, yesterday, unfortunately, I found out that the cellular service here isn't working very well. But the idea behind this, this is, this is um, blue, using a technology called near-field communication. And what this did is I put the phone on here, and it automatically turned on the speaker and started connecting it. I didn't do anything. I just placed the phone down on here. It automatically started playing because it used near-field communication. That's the same technology that's being used for electronic cash. Um, these headphones do the same thing. There are no controls on them. You put the headphones on. All I do is tap my phone next to the headphones, and it automatically starts playing. But that's not the only stuff that's connected that way. This is a battery. For example, uh, it's a talking battery. Uh, here, here, here. Battery is full. So it tells you what's happening. This is what we're talking about, man-machine interface. Now, one of my favorites, and I actually I, I, I travel, and I need to have electricity with me, and so I bring my own. This is a light bulb, OK? Just a plain old light bulb in here, right? It's an LED light bulb, so I can drop it and everything else. But what's really interesting, and this is a Wi-Fi connected light bulb. Now, I can turn it on and off with my little remote here, and I can dim it, et cetera. But each one of these is individually addressed. Now, I have another one where I can actually not only turn on and off, I can also change the color of it. And then if you want to interface, uh, here's another fun thing. You've heard about Google Glasses. This is a pair of goggles. And these goggles have, in the goggle, there is a little tiny display in here which shows me any messages coming in. It tells me if I've got um, uh, how fast I'm going. And it has friend radar. tells me where all my friends are. And then finally, <laughs> well, actually, next to finally, you're on the scope. Remember, uh, this is I'm out, out skiing. And I want to make a phone call. You know, you all do this. Well, guess what? This is, in fact, a telephone. <laughs> it really works. And now for the final way is going. We're looking at things that are going to change. And this is a, an, an indicator of, whoopsie. <laughs> I knocked off my, uh, my little thing here. Anyway, what this is, these are, this is a brain scan that is connected to my head like this. And I will put this on here like that. And basically, this takes it one step further. Instead of having to do anything, it actually will read my brain waves. Uh, I can't do this right now because I'm running out of time. But basically, as I'm sitting here, my brain waves are making my ears move. Now, think about that. We're going to have a hat on. It's going to do all this stuff. You don't have to push any buttons at all. Thank you very much. Enjoy it.